hello student welcome to standard 9th geography we are studying chapter 3 part 5 the title of the lesson is exogenetic processes part 1 so so far we have seen carbonation solution now in this part we are going to study the oxidation we have done the experiment of wet cloth and nail so you must be remembering it and now let us study from that background oxidation this process occurs in rock which have iron present in them so i have told you earlier many rocks are present many rocks are there which has lot of minerals so the rock which has more iron present in them oxidation occurs the iron in the rock comes in contact with water and chemical reaction takes place between iron and oxygen so on the shore of goa or konkan or even in the uh, region uh, konkan region they have the red soil over there um, that itself tells us that this red soil has a uh, lot of iron contain so uh, this is because the iron get rusted which uh, and uh, gives red color so the soil is also red so the iron in rock comes in contact with water and chemical reaction takes place between iron and oxygen hence a reddish color layer forms on the rock this is called rust when when you keep nails in the wet cloth you must have noticed a similar thing similar process occurs in rock in areas with high rainfall so wherever there is high rainfall such type of nail and a wet cloth experience experiment which we did similarly uh, in this uh, rock the same type of things happen that the iron present in the rock gets wet and because of that it's get rusty junk pakadta hai uh, and then it becomes red so in this way rocks uh, uh rust when you keep the nail also we have seen how it becomes uh, reddish even the cloth gets stain similar process occurs in the rock in the area with high rainfall there are many more processes involved in chemical weathering besides the one mentioned above daily life example includes moisturing of table salt so you must have kept the table salt on the table uh, even the lid is uh, closed but the holes are there from where we sprinkle the uh, salt from that moisture enters in the in the um, container and the table salt become uh, wet Uh, it uh, it catches the the moisture in the same way we also cut apple slices of apple and when when we keep it for some time uh, open uh, in the atmosphere uh, this apple slices turns brown because apple has a lot of iron in them 
and because of the moisture in present in the air it becomes brown this is called as oxidation let us move on to the next topic that is biological weathering besides mechanical and chemical weathering biological factors are also responsible for weathering of rocks have you visited any fort have you seen trees growing on their miniature minarets you also must have seen pieces of rock getting separated because of the roots of the tree as the root grows bigger they create tension in the rock and start breaking them so you can see how the tension is created over here and then the the temple or the uh, rocks when the roots goes in the rock it starts breaking ant makes large ant hill rats mice rabbits and other worms and insects makes burrows in the ground these animals are called burrowing animal because of their activity weathering of rock occurs so they make holes burrows in the rock and because of that weathering takes place besides this algae moss lichen other flora etc grows in the rock they also help in weathering so algae moss lichen this also grows on the rock and then and then biological weathering takes place they causes um, weathering so in this way my dear student biological weathering occurs and uh, the rock becomes weak so now we are moving further we are asked have you seen the process of biological weathering around you if not try to no notice it uh, we have to be you have to be um, uh, sensible enough with the nature and if you see you will you can find out so please do that and you yourself will say ah this is the biological weathering um, you can see even the building or even the uh, the uh, mountains where the rocks are uh, where the uh, on the rock trees grows and because of the root the the uh, rock starts getting separated getting disintegrated getting and then uh, finally it falls down let us move on to the next topic of the chapter that is mass movement mass vesting the withered rock material start moving along the slope due to gravity and and accumulate near the foot hills or the gentler slope so when this rock gets separated from the parent rock from the mother rock then it falls apart and because of the gravity it starts moving down it um, it comes down rolling down to the valley this process has been happening for years the withered particle form a conical heap at the foot hill so oh, 
large large number of par particles fall over each other and a conical heap uh, is been formed when wither particles move down due to gravity alone this process is called mass movement so all the uh, wither particle all the um, uh, broken particles of the um, of the withered rock because of the gravity starts rolling down and comes and falls and formed a heap this process by itself is called as mass movement mass movement occur in two ways it is rapid on steeper slope while it is slower on gentler slope so uh, two ways when the when the mountain is very steep steep then it falls down quickly uh, on the other hand if it doesn't have uh, a slope uh, it has a very gentle slope then uh, it comes down gently so now uh, we are going to study in the sec next part rapid mass movement and slower mass movement so till then goodbye my dear student have a nice time please read the lesson try to understand the concept bye bye